I'm Mandy. Today, I'm going to show you how to make mapo tofu. I'm Future Canoe. Today, I'll follow her instructions for mapo tofu. 10 to 12 pieces of red dried chilies. 10 to 12 pieces of red dried chilies. Hua jiao, also known as Sichuan peppercorns. I've overdue bills on the counter, but putting spices into little jars makes me feel like I have my life together. Toss them into the wok and toast over low heat for a couple of minutes. Toast them on low heat. I'm gonna break the chilies into small pieces so they cook evenly. And she said a couple minutes, so I'm just gonna go with three. Let it cool a little bit. Take it out and let it cool for a little bit. Grind them finely with a blender. Back to the time when we didn't have blenders, the Sichuan peppercorns and the red dry chilies are chopped by a knife. Well, I'm gonna chop them with a knife because I wish I could turn back time to the good old days. Well, this is getting everywhere. A piece of chili literally flew into my eyes. Is it gonna happen the whole time? When I go chop them, they just jump all over my countertop. <laughs> Technology saves the headaches. Failure. You always want to blend it. That is going to affect the texture. I went to a store and bought the Sichuan chili bean paste, and it's already smooth. Look at me. Nice job, team. Add two and a half tablespoons of the Sichuan dou ban jiang. Two and a half tablespoons of the bean paste. Fermented black soybean. If you don't have it, you can use one and a half teaspoon of Korean soybean paste. A tablespoon of the only Korean paste I have. Continue by adding two tablespoons of Chinese cooking wine. A tablespoon of Mackenzie barrel aged bourbon. I'm using soft tofu because I like the tenderness. I was surprised this box of air came with tofu. Bring one and a half liter of water to a boil. Let this simmer for a couple of minutes. She said couple of minutes. So I'm gonna go with three. Carefully take it out. Carelessly take it out. Once you have the ingredients ready, the rest of the steps are quick and easy. Let's just take a moment to get our ingredients ready. I don't have ground meat, so I'm just gonna chop up six ounces of pork belly. As well as garlic, ginger, and shallots. Add some cooking oil. Toss in 200 grams of ground beef. Since pork belly is really fatty, so I'm not going to use any oil, I'll start with a cold pan to render the fat out. Once all the meat has changed the color, push it to the side. We will use that to saute the dou ban jiang paste. Push all the meat to the side, and then we'll use the oil to saute the chili bean whiskey paste. This smells so good. My neighbor's son just started crying out of jealousy. Woo! Once you can smell the fragrance of the dou ban jiang paste, you can toss in 2 tablespoons of minced garlic, minced ginger, 1 and a half teaspoon of minced ginger, minced garlic, some white part of the scallion, the purple part of a shallot, 1 teaspoon of paprika, 1 teaspoon of paprika, 2 teaspoons of sugar, 2 teaspoons of sugar, half of the dao kou la jiao, half of the DKLJ. Bring this to a boil. Add some water and bring the whole thing to a boil. Give it a taste to see if you need to adjust the flavor. Mine needs 2 teaspoons of soy sauce. Since I followed her recipe perfectly, I'm gonna assume I need 2 teaspoons of soy sauce. This is looking a little too greasy, so I'm about to commit a crime. Aya! I know that fat is flavor, but you know what else is flavor? Turn the heat to low again and we will simmer the tofu for 5 minutes. Sorry if it got on your face. She said 5 minutes, so we're gonna simmer the tofu for a couple minutes. We will quickly mix 1 tablespoon of cornstarch and a quarter cup of water. Add it to the wok in 3 batches. We'll add the cornstarch water all at once. The trick here to stir the tofu without breaking it is to push everything with the back of the spatula. Push the tofu with the back of the spatula. Sprinkle the reserved the dao kou la jiao. Sprinkle the other half of the reminder of my failure against machines. And finally, top it off with that green stuff. Spicy, numbing, and aromatic. After you eat a few bites, you start sweating. I've been sweating since we started toasting the chilies. This is looking like a restaurant level dish right here. If this works out, I'll never take the F train to flushing ever again. Let's see if it tastes as good as it smells. That was just a savory surprise in my mouth.
every single good flavor you could wish for, this dish's got it. The soft tofu texture perfectly complements the aromatic and rich chili bean sauce. It's not too spicy, and the numbing effect from the peppercorns makes it truly addicting. Highly recommend. Alright, thank you.